Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am sharing with you a quick little video on a cool but not very good mod. I'll get into that in one quick second. This is the Vanwall Vanderveld LMH car, also known as the Baikalas LMH car. This thing, of course, currently races in the WEC, raced at the 24 Hours of Le Mans this year in all of the WEC events. The reason why I said this car wasn't great is because it's made by the second trashiest studio in Assetto Corsa, first studio racing. If you don't know who they are, um, they're basically pretty much well known, very similar to Sim Dream in a way, uh, to just absolutely ripping models and things like that and reselling them. However, today I am giving you this car for 100% free, as I got the car for, as well as pretty much I hope every single person who has this car downloaded did. This is an R Factor 2 rip from the official DLC, so it is relatively okay quality. Uh, but there are a few very interesting things. The main reason I'm sharing with you this mod is because I like taking screenshots, and this is a fantastic car model, of course, coming from R Factor 2. It's going to be. And I like to take WEC screenshots. I know a lot of you guys like to take screenshots. So this is a very good screenshot car. With it, I'll also be linking to a skin pack for the car. This is made by the camera guy over on Race Department. It comes with both the regular season livery as well as the livery they used for the 24 Hours of Le Mans with some like gold bronze accents. As well as it has some of the helmets if you have ACS. PRH. This car has 650 brake horsepower. It's naturally aspirated. It has a V6, I believe. And I mean, it's pretty fast. The drivers behind it don't seem to be too fantastic. It usually crashes out pretty much every race I see it in. But it is actually known to be one of the best sounding cars, apparently, by ear witnesses at the WEC races, which is actually super cool. I'm proud of the Baikala's team for putting this thing out on the track. One very funny note with this car that will definitely limit its use as a grid filler as well is that the headlights don't work, at least for me. I don't know if they do normally, but at least for me, the headlights don't work at all, uh, which is just another really funny thing on how poor quality the first studio racing mods are. Like, at least Sim Dream, when they make a mod, at least it's functional. <laughs> This is a super cool car. I give 100% credit to the R Factor 2 devs. They always put in a ton of work. The first studio racing team has done no work. And if you're interested in taking some screenshots of the Vanderwall in Assetto Corsa, then this is the way to do it. And also, this video does serve as a mini PSA to never financially support for studio racing. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Make sure you go check out my second channel, JC Racing, as well. That'll be the top link in the description below. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.